Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Uh, good morning, everybody. It is a very, very foggy start to the day that we've got going on here. Look how dense that fog is. Really actually difficult to even see across the street. Sometimes this tower cam loses focus just because of how much fog is out there. So be careful driving around, especially Midland, Odessa. We are located right along I-20, and you can see traffic's moving along just fine, but I wish there were a little bit more space between other drivers because this fog definitely can slow your reaction time. Thanks to the West Texas State Bank weather cam, we do have a good look at those very foggy conditions. And we've also got some very cloudy cloudy conditions as well, even south of I-10. We're starting to see those clouds clear up a little bit around Marfa and Alpine, but still looking very dense as far as that cloud cover goes here in the basin. Notice most of those low-level clouds moving in from the south and east, and we've got some high-level clouds coming in on top of that from the west. So kind of extra layers. And of course, below that, we've got that fog that we're dealing with. Tons and tons of moisture pooling up here down to the south and east, providing us with those very foggy conditions. So do be careful driving around today, especially because of how dense that fog is. It, de it definitely can affect your reaction time. So be careful. Give yourself a little extra space so that you can offset that lowered reaction time. Now, as we get to this afternoon, we'll be picking up into the 70s thanks to a lot of sunshine. Those clouds actually starting to part right around 12 noon when that fog should start to move out as well. And We've got some thunderstorm chances coming our way a little bit later on in the evening, but right now that fog is the most pressing thing. Visibility less than a mile here for Odessa Midland down to 0 0.8, 0 0.3 in Wink. And because the sun hasn't even come up yet, it is looking very, very dark and hard to see. So do be careful driving around out that way. Dryden looking at zero mile visibility as well. So lots and lots of dense fog around the southeastern part of the basin. Now that should be clearing out by the late morning, say around 10 a.m., 11 a.m., we should start to see most of that fog begin to move out and give way to a lot of sunshine for this afternoon, helping us out to warm us up very, very nicely. But we do have chances for thunderstorms coming our way later on tonight. We've got some pretty clear conditions for us yesterday, a little bit of cloud cover coming in, and we've also got a little energy, a little disturbance making its way in from California to Arizona right now. And as that pushes towards us here in West Texas, we are eventually going to see that wave of energy move through the basin. So that's what's causing our thunderstorm chances later on in the evening. Today, we've got a nice clear sky coming through for this afternoon before those clouds begin to whip up. And they could whip up some thunderstorms. This model running really, really light compared to some of the other models. But I think it still has been running pretty accurately for the past couple of days. And it shows just a little thin band of rain moving through southeast New Mexico by around 8 p.m., possibly Pecos, maybe the Marfa Plateau could see some of those thunderstorms first around that time. And as we get close to midnight, then we start to see those thunderstorms tracking through the basin. Now, around that same time, we've also got tons of moisture coming in from the south and east, potentially giving us some shower chances for Big Lake, Dryden, maybe even Fort Stockton at the farthest to the west. Now, going forward from there, by around 2 a.m., most of that thunderstorm potential begins to dissipate, giving way to a little bit of isolated shower activity remaining in the forecast. And by 5 a.m., we're still looking very cloudy. Everything kind of moves out by 11 a.m. But the good news, we're not looking at any severe weather risk today. Nothing rates on the scale for us here in West Texas. And as we get into tomorrow, we're not looking at any severe weather risk either. Now, temperatures today picking up to 73 degrees, 71 on Saturday and 76 on Sunday. We stay in the 70s for six out of the seven days here. So that is going to be a nice warm week ahead. Now, that 30% chance for thunderstorms occurs here in Odessa Midland just after midnight and lasts till about 2 a.m. Sunday looking very warm, but also very windy.